Welcome to the Easy Clocking Software Tutorial. In this tutorial, we will be going over the PTO, Paid Time Off, feature of the Easy Clocking software. We will demonstrate the most common processes associated to PTO. Employees needing to request time off may do so from the employee dashboard if provided access to the employee portal. Employees granted access to the employee portal may request for paid time off within the My Benefit Time tab of the employee portal. Upon navigation to the My Benefit Time tab, hours of paid time off associated to the employee profile will be displayed. Available hours for holidays, personal days, sick days, and vacation days will be displayed. Should the employee have any time off requests pending, they will be displayed on the right of the hours available within the My Benefit Time inbox. Items displayed will be classified by the absence type. Other pertinent details associated to the time off request will also be displayed. Hours per day, total hours requested, dates requesting off, reasoning behind the time off requests, and request status. Here we have three varying status requests displayed to demonstrate the various request views. An approved request will be displayed with a checkmark icon. A request pending review will be displayed with an hourglass icon. A disapproved request will be displayed with an X icon. As an employee, you may remove an approved or disapproved request from your My Benefit Time inbox by selecting the red X icon displayed. Removing an approved request will not in fact cancel your time off request. Only those with administrative privileges may delete the absences associated to employee profiles. Selecting the Notepad option next to a disapproved request will display administrative notes attached. To request time off, the employee needs only select the calendar icon next to the hours available associated to the employee profile. Upon selecting the calendar, a new pop-up wizard will be displayed. Within this pop-up wizard, the absence type selected will be displayed. You, as the employee, must provide a reason for the absence request. You must associate the hours per days that you would like off, keeping in mind available hours associated to your profile. You must select the days to be taken off within the calendar displayed. You may select a single day, you may select continuous days, or you may select specific days. Upon specifying hours and days for the absence request, select Create to continue. Should you, the employee, request more hours off than that of those associated to the profile, upon selecting the Create option, the software will prompt for confirmation of the absence request as hours available have elapsed. You must select Yes to continue. You will be prompted upon successful absence request. Select OK to continue. An absence request will be generated and be specified as pending for administrative review. As the administrator, you will be notified upon absence request via email. You must navigate to the absence request subtab of the dashboard tab within the Easy Clocking software in order to approve or deny requests of employees. Within the absence request subtab, employee requests for time off will be displayed. You may approve a pending request from an employee by selecting the check mark icon or deny a pending request by selecting the red X icon. Upon denial of a request, you may include a note with a limit of 255 characters as to the reasoning behind the absence request denial. Select the Save option to complete the denial process. If approving a request surpassing the amount of hours assigned to an employee, you will be prompted to ensure awareness of said action. Select the Yes option to complete the approval process. In order to enable the possibility of allowing employees the ability to request more hours than those associated to their profile, you must enable the Allow Negative Hours options within the Absence Types subtab of the Settings tab. Within this tab, you may allow negative hours of compensatory time if enabled within the Pay Settings submenu of the General subtab of the Settings tab. The default absences enrolled within the software are holiday, personal, sick, and vacation. You may enact the Allow Negative Hours option within each of these absence types. 
The holiday absence type differs from the others in that you may assign a holiday rate as well as specify whether or not to count paid hours absent toward overtime weekly calculations. Absences may be disabled by selecting the blue eye icon adjacent to the absence type. When a line is displayed over the blue eye icon, the absence type has been disabled within the software. You may create an absence type by selecting Create Absence Type option, located in the right-hand corner of the Absence Types sub-tab. A new pop-up wizard will be displayed where you, the administrator, must assign a name and a description to the absence type. You must then specify whether or not to allow the ability for requests of negative hours within the absence type to be created. Select the Create option upon completion to register a new absence type within the software. You will be prompted upon successful creation of an absence request type. Select OK to continue. The absence type created will be displayed alongside other absence types registered within the software. Newly created absence types must be enabled by selecting the blue eye icon. You may delete an absence type by selecting the trash bin icon displayed adjacent to the absence type. Upon selection of the trash bin icon, a confirmation prompt will be displayed. Select the Yes option to continue. Employee requests approved will be displayed within the employee schedules found within the Schedules sub-tab of the Dashboard tab. If you, as the administrator, would like to input manual time off of employees, you may do so here within the Schedules tab. You must first specify the employees to have absences assigned to them. You may select all employees, multiple employees, or a single employee to have absences assigned. Upon employee selection, select the absence option located at the top of the calendar displayed. You may select a day or time period within the calendar to assign absences to. Upon date or time range selection, a new pop-up wizard will appear with fields to be filled. You may alternatively assign absence requests by selecting the Create Absences option found within the Schedule Options, located at the right-hand corner of the Schedule sub-tab. A similar pop-up wizard to that displayed previously will appear with fields to be filled for enrollment of absences to specified employees. Selected employees' names will be displayed within the pop-up wizard. You must select the absence type to be assigned. Upon selection, hours available associated to employee profile will be displayed. You must then enter the amount of hours to pay. You are limited to 24 hours, the amount of hours within a day. You must specify the start and end date, and you may assign a note to the absence to be created. Select Create to assign the absence to the employee. You will be prompted upon successful absence creation. Select OK to continue. This concludes the software tutorial on paid time off.